Welcome friends, my name is Satyajit Sahu and welcome to this video where we are going to discuss the greatest mistake by a great aspirant. Most of you are great aspirants, therefore you have opened this video and seeing me and trying to understand the greatest mistake so that you can avoid it. Now let me tell you this mistake which I am going to tell is not only done by the beginners means what the students who have started their preparation for gate but it is also committed by students who have already been into 5-6 months of their preparation and sometimes students who have already completed one year of their preparation they are still committing this mistake and what is this mistake this mistake is I will tell you after some time just a short introduction about myself my name is Satyajit Sahu I have done my B.Tech and M.Tech from IIT Kharagpur and I have been teaching to get aspirants for more than 11 years now. Now coming back to the answer that what is the greatest mistake which a gate aspirant can commit. The greatest mistake which students have been committing, yes, and they are committing and they will commit is that they don't get the complete syllabus list. What is the meaning of this complete syllabus list? Means they don't list all the topics which are to be asked in the gate examination. They go sometimes subject wise, they go sometimes chapter wise, they feel that the subject is complete, the chapter is complete. But what happens is that from every chapter, they miss one or two subtopics. Yes, they miss two or three subtopics. Yes. And another thing students commit is that they only solve previous year questions. So when they are solving previous questions only, so what happens? Suppose we have a subject and it has 10 chapters. It is having a high probability that certain chapters might have been missed in the previous question. Or even if all chapters are covered, some of the subtopics won't be covered in the previous question. That doesn't mean that they are not going to ask questions from that particular subtopic. Yes, and like this, suppose you have prepared all the previous questions and the topics of the previous questions, but you have missed the other subtopics of the other chapters, then what happens? That they will be asked in the next gate examination and then you have not studied them, you have not completed them and you will miss those marks. And therefore, many of the students, they fall into the range of 40 to 50 marks. Yes. Many of the students, they get what? They get 40 to 50 marks in the gate examination and sometimes 30 to 40 marks because they are only solving the previous questions. Yes, I have already made a video on are uh, previous questions sufficient for your gate and ESA preparation or not. You can see that video also. But coming back to this video, that when you're only solving previous question, you are certain to miss certain subtopics. Yes, and when you miss certain subtopics, then it is disaster for your grade preparation. Yes, it is disaster for your grade preparation. Another thing happens when you don't have the list of subtopics. The problem happens is that you don't revise certain subtopics. Yes, you do that. Many students do that. Many aspirants do that. They commit this mistake. What they do is that, suppose there are 100 subtopics. Yes, there are 100 subtopics. I'm just giving an example for a particular subject not for entire civil engineering for a particular subject suppose there are 100 subtopics so you tend to revise the subtopics which you like and when you're not keeping a track that which subtopics you have revised then what happens certain subtopics get neglected neglected and then when they're asked in the examination you have studied them but you have not revised them sufficiently so you tend to either forget the formula or commit some mistake in the formula or commit some mistake in the concept although you have studied but you have not revised it thoroughly yes and therefore it is very important that before you start your get preparation for each chapter okay suppose we have 12 subjects or 13 subjects depending on you know how it is a bifurcated subjects so for each subject for each subject you should have the list of chapters and in each chapter you should have the list of the subtopics or we can say topic depending on what you want to call. So like this we can see that in each 
uh, chapter there will be 10 to 15 subtopics yes and then each chapter each subject there will be one, 10 uh, around 10 to 15 chapters right so like this you have to make a list of all the chapters of all the subjects and then you have to make a list of all the topics or subtopics of each chapter and then first when you are covering them for first time you should tick them one by one that have you completed them or not yes so when you have started your preparation for gate it is not a good idea to only solve previous year question no it is a very bad idea yes first you should complete all the chapters all the topics yes nicely you should cover each and every subtopic yes and then you solve the previous year question in this manner what will happen you will not miss any subtopic which can be asked in the next examination yes and then once you complete all the subtopics you, you complete all the subtopics then you can do the revision also and you can keep a track of the revision of the each subtopic also yes therefore i will request you make a grand list of all the subtopics now the question is somebody will ask me sir it's a little difficult i'm a beginner yes i'm a beginner what to do let me tell you even if you're a beginner or you have started a preparation for last five six months students many will agree me with, with me that students who have been into their preparation for five six months or even one year they have not prepared this list yes some students would have prepared the list and they are doing very well but students who don't prepare their list it is their greatest mistake as a gate aspirant yes and therefore whatever stage of preparation you are you might be in your first month of preparation or sixth month of preparation or one year of preparation if you have not prepared the list do prepare the list now uh, what help we can give you in Baijus exam prep so we have already done that bifurcation for each subject we have done the bifurcation i am going to give the example of civil engineering the same has been done for mechanical electrical and other branches also right so what you have to do to get a list of all the subjects and then all the subtopics what are going to do you can go to i will just go to the website so you can go to your baijus exam prep website okay baijus exam prep website there you can visit what the recorded video lessons when you read this recorded video lessons you can see all the subjects of civil engineering are there similarly i have logged into civil engineering branch if you log into mechanical branch then you get the all the subject list of mechanical branch also then you can click on the particular subject suppose i'm clicking on engineering mathematics okay so when you click on engineering mathematics you can see all the chapters names are coming you see linear algebra then calculus then vector calculus differential equation probability statistics numerical methods transform theory all the chapter names are coming and then for each chapter for each chapter suppose for linear algebra you click this view all then you get to get all the subtopic names right you get all the subtopic names and you should make sure that you are completing these subtopics you are completing these subtopics right similarly it has been done for other subjects also yes so you can make a list of all the subtopics and you make sure that you are completing each and every subtopic yes you are completing each and every subtopic even if they are not asked in the previous year doesn't mean that they will not be asked in the next year because because everything cannot be asked in a particular gate examination right so if they are missed in the last 10 years doesn't mean that they're going to miss in the next year yes so yes solve previous year questions but don't do this mistake of leaving any subtopic for your gate preparation and to ensure that you are not leaving any subtopic you should first have the list of all the subtopics yes and this, ladies and gentlemen, is the greatest mistake which a gate aspirant can commit by not preparing the grand list of all subtopics chapter-wise and then subject-wise. And if you have not done that, we have done that, you can download the Baijus exam prep app. You can go to recorded video lessons and there you can see the videos also, yes. Videos are also available, you can see the videos also, yes and then you can make a list also and cover them also yes so thank you very much hope you understood the greatest mistake 
which the gate aspirant commits yes and i hope that you don't commit that mistake otherwise you will be landing up in the marks of 30 to 50 marks if you're only solving previous questions and you're not covering all the topics of your particular syllabus thank you very much